when I'm struggling to get Otis Dealey's attention because he's playing with a remote control car. It's not just any remote control car, Craig. This is the Charisma Coyote, 220 pounds and 1.9 inch all-terrain wheels. Check it out. Yes. Ah! <laughs> 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 and it can break dance too, look. <laughs> ah! I must admit, it looks like really good fun. It is. It's lots of fun, but nowhere near as much fun as the real thing. Hey, watch this. This beast of an all-terrain vehicle may be lightweight, but it's got big wheels and an even bigger attitude. It's a shirt! <laughs> it's named after the Sherpas, the renowned mountaineers who were famous for being able to tackle even the most hostile of landscapes. And this thing can go anywhere. It looks like it's stuck to the terrain. That's awesome. They're hand-built in this factory on the outskirts of Kiev by a team of 30 people, and it's an impressive operation. So, no robots. The Sherps are assembled completely by hand. The aluminium has been sourced from the Czech Republic, and the chassis is Swedish steel. The engine is made in South Korea. Gears and transmission are sourced locally, and the casing is French. Some of the parts, though, are tailor-made. Today, they've agreed to let me have a ride in one, and showing me the ropes is specialist Sherp pilot, Sergei. Yeah, throttle, throttle, yeah, let's go. He's a test driver and takes these bad boys all over the world to show off their mad skills. Oh, just go, yeah. The Sherp has all the off-road trickery you'd expect from a standard ATV. Hey, driving it, mate! Five gears, four-wheel drive, a 1.5 diesel turbo engine, but it's missing one major part, a steering wheel. All right. Yeah, you're doing really good. Yeah. You steer it using a pair of levers, a bit like a tank. By pulling on one lever, you lock the wheels, forcing it to turn. A little bit this way, a little bit like that way. OK, so it feels like I thought it would to drive. It's, it's easy. It's just unnerving having such a powerful machine underneath you. You want to do some donuts? Some donuts? Yeah. <laughs> OK, here we go. Harder, harder, yeah. Yeah, donuts, baby! <laughs> donuts, mine! Yeah! Why didn't you tell me that you're a professional shirt driver? <laughs> <laughs> Flatterer, but clearly the Sherp is capable of much more than I can throw at it. It's time for Sergei to take the levers and for me to have the ride of my life. OK, so it's quite nippy, so it's capable of a bit of speed, yeah. which is good. It's very agile. It turns really nice, tight very turns. Manuable. Yeah, very manoeuvrable. It's obvious that these can go everywhere, everywhere. But where in the world have you taken them? All over the world. Everywhere? Everywhere. In your favourite place? Chernobyl. Hold on. Chernobyl. You've zone. been to Chernobyl? Yes. This machine was... This machine. Wow. Not even nuclear radiation stands in the way of this renegade master. What? We're pushing down trees here, man. Now, while this only has 44 horses under the hood and a top speed of 40 kilometres an hour... Yeah! ..it eats steep sand dunes for breakfast. Wow! The colossal 1.6 metre wide wheels give a ground clearance of almost two feet so that the bottom of the Sherp doesn't smash to bits. All right, big boulders time. The tyre pressure can be adjusted in the cabin to suit the terrain and it uses exhaust gases to reinflate them when the ground changes. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! Incredibly, this thing has no suspension. Fewer parts means there's less to go wrong while you're out in the field. Whoa, look at so here, all the impact is being absorbed through the tyres. I bet this looks just as awesome from the outside. And because of the small engine and the clever use of parts, it only weighs 1.3 tonnes. What a mighty machine this is! But Sergei wasn't done yet. Jeez, well, we're in the water! <laughs> Mad. That's mad. The big two-inch treads that supply all that grip on land now act as paddles, powering us through the lake at around three and a half kilometres an hour. Wow! When you jump in a boat, you expect it to float. You see something like this, it's like, oh, OK, you've got to get in it. 
and then realise that it can before you can trust it. These mean machines are predominantly bought by the military and companies that specialise in disaster rescue missions around the world. But some A-list celebs have got their hands on them too, including Kanye West. And the Sherp's shape was a major influence on a vehicle that features in Grand Theft Auto V. Now we will try to get out of the you water. You say try to try. get <laughs> Would you look at this awesome piece of equipment? Oh, my word! <laughs> 